Oh, I guess welcome back to uh, another match play. We're doing the top eight today. Yeah, Grady's, Grady's here. Everyone Yay. get your dicks out. Wait. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> That's weird. Unless Serena Radu is watching us. Whoa. Otherwise, don't do that. Whoa. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay, uh, so this, as you can see, we, we love it's, Serena. it's sideways from the normal format, so I suggest either, like, tilting your head the whole time or, like, <laughs> looking your computer monitor or something every, like that. Every, every single, if you're watching this on a tablet, every single turn, switch your, switch your tablet around. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep rotating it. <laughs> People looking at you will be like, what are you doing? Anyways, um, it, so if you weren't aware, this was live streamed. That's why a it's sideways and b there's like stuff on the screen. Um, the guy who was commentating doesn't necessarily keep up that well with the prizes, so those might be off here also, and there. Also, he was high as fuck. Also, he was pretty high. Also, he doesn't know much about U N fifty. That's true. Also, he's probably not going to watch this, but we love Patty. Today. But if he is, I love him. So. We love we love Patty. Um. We love Serena Adu, too. I don't know why you had to make that comment. I don't know either. I feel kind of bad, actually. Yeah, right? She's a class act. I love her, dude. She's awesome. I just uh, wanted to stir up the uh, the sexism thing again. Jesus honestly. Christ. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, uh, anyways, uh, so uh, the way we decided to play these is the um, we'd flip for game one, who played what deck, and then game two... Um, we switched decks, and then game three we flipped again. And if you didn't know, it is best two out of three for a top eight. So, there is that. Um, to prevent weird stuff from happening, like a uh, power spray to completely ruin someone's game. Who knows? Huh. Huh. Gyarados. Rest weird. In Rest in peace. Um, so, yeah, we're setting up here. It's going to be Weavile Jump Left. I took forever to set up there, just because I, I had to start Lone Lapras. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, Sour Patch Kids! Dude! I remember those. Those are good. Those are pretty good. Yeah, anyways. Uh, early game. Boring stuff. This game is the one that's like four minutes long, right? No, 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 no. That was the... That's Arcanine. Oh! I was like... I thought this was just like not even a game. Oh, no. This is definitely a game. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, we actually have to commentate. I, th I actually thought this was the game that was like four minutes long, so... <laughs> so you were just messing around? Yes. <laughs> Yikes. Um, I'm probably looking. So yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do a separate video for each of the games. But uh, yeah, the jump the Arcanine series has a game that went for like four minutes, so it's it gonna be a little weird for that one. But you got donked. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, separate games. So it looks like I'm like computer searching. I like, computer searched for escape rope. It appears. Mm -hmm. Which I think that's a pretty cheeky play there, because it re requires you to have another energy. Yeah. Because you can't play the floatstone. See, so you're already thinking about it. But it looks um, like you said I was okay, apparently. So, it is what it is, I guess. Um, I don't I think this this matchup's so weird. I it think really I, is. I think I played game one wrong. So I I this is the first time I'm watching it since we recorded it. Um, so I can go back and look at all my just like screw ups. I think because I think I screwed how you, up. How do you think you approach? Did you just like approach it wrong? Or? I think I approached it wrong. I think I just like. I think the strategy is just to go like mono jump left and stuff and never try to bench too many support Pokemon. Or if mm. you do, like, make sure you can never get a, a spread attack off. And mm -hmm. I think that was my big issue is that, like, I completely just, like, mismanaged that and slash forgot about it. Right. Slash well, I mean, as long as you're. Is, if you hex every turn, like, it never actually does anything. Well, no, it'll still spread 60 to everything, but it just. Like it no, no, it doesn't. Oh, wait. Oh, can... am I thinking of Entei Raikou or no? No, you're thinking of... Uh... No, because Goop gas it, so you have to hex instead of Goop, because I think it happened to you once. Yes, as long if you hex... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look up Goop right now. Goop says okay. all powers stop working. Hex says they no stop. abilities, yeah. And I think so, yeah. we, we might have screwed that up this game, to be honest. Yes, that... we might have. Because I remember, I remember uh, gooping you at least once. Because remember there was one game where you had to do 60 to all of your own Pokemon? Yeah, because Hex says until the end of the opponent's turn, each Pokemon play has no abilities. Yeah, that's come up in so, standard. So, Rule of Evil does not work if Hex has been played. Correct. Correct. 
So I think your strategy is obviously just, like, try to hex every single turn. I mean, that's kind of a strategy anyway, but here it's, like, even more important. Um, have we screwed that up in previous games? It's a possibility. It also applies to Entei Raikou, so... Yeah, because I think we've definitely screwed that up in previous games. Yeah. Um, Goop does not shut it off because it just says powers stop working. Right. But Hex says they lose them completely. Yeah, we've we've probably screwed that up before. Hey, look, Patty updated the prizes. What? My what? man. That's crazy. So, already I got a really good uh, spread off, like a 60 to Porygon 2 and the Clay Dolls really, really relevant here. Yeah, because now it puts everything into Coco range. Mm-hmm. Or just Porygon Z range or something. This Karina might go for a Max Potion or a... Nope, just the Floatstone. Because I saw it had a Guzma in my hand, but apparently I just really want to yeah. kill this. Um, honestly, I think this this kind of game and this kind of deck is really a good argument for why we need to start putting Pokemon Center in a lot of things, yeah. especially things that don't that can deal with like losing the energy. Uh, like, especially you put. Yeah, like Jump Bluff can, for yeah, sure. Yeah, like Jump Bluff. It's basically like Max Potion, except like decks that would, because we have a lot of decks that play Max Potion already. I don't know why we just don't replace Max Potion with Pokemon Center in a lot of these instances. Because there are some decks where, like, the energy on your bench, like, can actually matter. Right. Like, okay, like, not every scenario, but I think especially with decks like Jump Bluff that only use one energy, that's only going to have one energy on the board yeah. anyway. Yeah, no, Jump Bluff is one of those cases. Like, here um, you could have just careened for Pokemon Center and just said, fuck you, I don't give a shit about your spread, like... Right. No, for sure, for sure, for sure. I think, uh... Um... Personally, I think, I, I think Pokemon Center is the better answer than mine, honestly. Um, just because of bench space? I think bench space is at a premium in this format already, so... I don't know, maybe maybe you can play both, but... Well, I mean, in certain spread situations... Like, if you're up against a spread deck, like, could you say, look, I'm going to sacrifice this one bench space for a mime? Because, like... Yeah, I, Pokemon Center is this one thing, but then you have to, like, if once you Pokemon Center Lady, if you don't knock out their spread attack, or they'll just do it again. Right. And then you also have to think about, like, Raikou Entei, where it's doing 80 to all of your stuff. Mm -hmm, that's so true. It's knocking out anyways. Pokemon Center's not going to stop that. So, I don't know. I think that's, that's, I think that's just, like, your argument there. Like, But then, yeah, the bench space issue, this, this, and this, but when you're playing against those matchups... Um, that's true, and I guess they can't even hex to get rid of the mine because then Entei Raikou doesn't hit anything. <laughs> right. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Goop does, but yeah. Hex would, so they would get one turn of that. Yes. So, I don't know. I think those two cards are an argument of, like... <sighs> but I think I think now that we've realized how prevalent spread is, I think we're going to have to start... Decks that are like vulnerable to spread, we should start putting like one to two cards that address that in each of those. Right. The weird, the weird part of it all is, um, like we can, you can say like, hey, we're subbing out, we're subbing out Max Potion for Pokemon Center, right? That's one thing, but like, what do, you, what do you now drop for Mister Mime? Mm -hmm. So, Skyla. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, there's a, I don't know. That's that's the one thing because like, it, putting Pokemon Center Lady into some decks is gonna be a lot easier. Right. Looks like you're struggling. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we can find one thing to cut in every, in every deck. It's not going to be the same thing in every deck, but I think we'll be able to find one slot in a lot of things anyway. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, we'll see. Um, looks like you're trying for this uh, Spirit Tomb play here. Yeah. Which looks like you're going get it, to get it off. Yeah, I mean, I definitely have it. I just think I'm thinking about how I want to arrange the damage on you. Because I can either kill, like, the Claydol and the Porygon, or I can take the Jump Luff and the Hop up here. And right. I'm not sure which line of play I end up going for. I don't remember either. I think you at least have to take the Claydol, because it has the Floatstone. If you go with Jump Bluff... Oh, do the, the, does the Rescue Scarf not act activate? No, I don't believe so. It's damage from an attack. Right. Okay, so then, yeah. I think you at least have to take the clay doll, though. I think that's, like, a must here. Let's see, I have 30 of 190 on board. So I can take the clay doll and the jump left. That's probably what... I would guess that's what I'm going to do. 
Yeah. Oh. No, you take both of those and get 60 to go. Okay. Okay, so what I did here then is I set up for another um, Weavile attack, and that'll take all three of them. Right. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> or you guess so. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, why would I change? Okay. So yeah, now they're all still in range of like one Weavile, if I get it off. I think that's the yeah. right play there. I don't know if you disagree with that or not. No, nah, I mean, it, the thing is, like, if you take the support Pokemon and I got no response to it, then then you're good. Like, yeah, I can take a knockout. It's it's all of what do you think it's easier for me to do? Right? Uh, get back out my support Pokemon or get back out Jump Bluff? Right. So. But well, it looks like you're probably going to do it. At least good shot at it. Right. You just need to hit, like, Revitalizer and then one of the parts. Okay, so now just revitalizer or that. Hitting um, uh, hitting the forest instead of the the BTS is also super relevant. Yeah, it's super nice. Now I have to try for like a swoop teleporter play most likely to get another weavile off. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, to get a weavile off this turn, I mean you need you can get BTS. So it looks like I missed the attack. I'm, I'm hesitating. It's never a good sign. No. So I because the the rescue stretcher came in for just the one. Yeah. There's the line back. Let's see. There's a goop. Oh, and I'm just gonna pass. Oh, wow. Because I could have retreated and did damage to you. I don't know why I didn't do that. Maybe I was worried that you were gonna come up and knock me out. Oh, do I have the weavile in hand? Oh shit. Oh, I do. Because I trumped it back in. Yeah. This is this is, this is kind of backbreaking. Yeah, but I did goop here. This is the this is the point where you that ten damage should be on you, but I don't. Because the the ten from poison, I don't think right. that's relevant. But. <laughs> point point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you still do it here because there's nothing that I have in my deck that's gonna. Yeah, yeah. If I, I had like a tech coco. Like God, that would be spicy. Then, then it's just, then it's just like, GG. So yeah, oh, I don't yeah. know what I could have done differently. You're right. I, I felt like I misplayed this. I think I just went too aggressive with the support Pokemon. That might have been it. Yeah. But I don't know what I could have done. So maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe I, maybe I didn't misplay and I just. I mean, I guess the only argument you can say is like you don't get out the support Pokemon. You just try to go mono jump off. Right, right, and that's what I was saying. Like that's how I think the matchup should be approached. And, and instead of getting multiple support Pokemon up, you get like a Claydol or a Baltoy up. Yeah. Right? And that's it. And yeah. and when you need them, you evolve. Then I have to just awkwardly like try to take Slash knockouts or Vilify knockouts. Right. And then if I because... like if I like that turn really, really, really need a support Pokemon, I can evolve and then be like, okay, he still has to do two attacks to knock this out. Correct. So Yeah, I think that's a I think that's a better way to approach this. Yeah. And I think I, I think I just was like just not thinking about the 60 spread. Right. And like I said, like we've talked, like one card, like a Mime or a Pokemon Center or something like that would really just, just completely swing this matchup. Oh god, yeah. Because Jump Bluff just triggers better with Weavile. Yeah, you need... if, you don't, if you don't have the spread, if the Jump Bluff has a way around that, this matchup's just fucking easy. Yeah. Because like your two main like one-shots to hit 90 damage are... And that's just one of the reasons I think Weavile just isn't as good, because it needs two energy attachments. It mm -hmm. has one Weavile that will do more damage if it has like the, the tool on it, you know that one. Um, yeah. But that is totally contingent on your opponent having a tool. Correct. Um, and I mean, once I know I'm playing against Weavile, I'm not going to attach tools unless I absolutely have to. Exactly. So, like, and so you're never relying on like dark patches and EXP shares and that sort of thing, and that's just like more cards to that's just more cards than Jump Bluff needs to get going. Jump Bluff just needs an attachment and an evolution, like. Right. So I feel I feel like even though Weavile did win, I think it I think if we play this matchup again, I think Jump Bluff wins possibly even 2-0. Yeah. What is uh what does Weavile play next? Weavile is up against Kingdra. Okay. So Kingdra doesn't run rough seas, does it? Kingdra does not run rough seas because it there's there's different things. It does run max potion. Yeah. Um, max Potion, AZ, that sort of thing, so it has healing abilities, but, like, none of the Kingdras have abilities except for Spray Splash, which you won't get out in the matchup anyways. Yeah, I think uh, Kingdra should have a pretty good matchup. Especially there. since Weavile's 90 HP and Brine's just going to go 
And yeah. then if you don't do the ninety thirty, it's going to spread. It's going to try bullet. Kingdra's going to or we guys going to have a really hard time of one hitting Kingdra's if yeah. at all. Go Just on. want to point out I escape ropes muscle band Uxita Porygon there. Yeah right. Um. Here's where, like, you know, I, if I get the glorious gust of wind N here, I yeah. think that's actually what I get, doesn't it? Look, there's a double gust in my hand. But I don't think you can play it. It's like nope. the Guzma rule. Oh, right? it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is, because it says switch me first. And see, there's me reading it. Yep. I'm just like, So you can't it. actually play it if you can't switch first. Yeah. So I'm reading that there, and I'm just like, because I don't want to bench another Pokemon. I mean, 210 is just too good. So, yeah. Here's the Sycamore... Looking for so that means I don't have an N, but right. I mean, I still have to hit like a decent amount of one shots you back here. Yeah. So and I, I think attaching the 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 expert belt is not a great thing. I totally forgot I mean, about. I have that. one prize left. <laughs> I know. I totally forgot about the one that does more damage. Oh, the dark penalty one. Yeah. Right. Let's see it. And I think that might be what you're going for here. Yeah, I think it's very unlikely that I miss it. So here. maybe that's the misplay that I that I hit here. Baby's for Uxie. Yeah, it looks that way. Yeah, you just need dark penalty, muscle band, or uh, dark pad, dark claw. So energy removal for good measure. Hey man, if you had a su if you missed and had a su super energy removal. Marley should just give it to you, I feel. I already supported once. Yeah. But Marley's... Or, he's just going to end. Damn. Yeah, I think Dark... Because Dark Penalty Muscle Band, I... I mean, I guess you had no way of searching it out. What if you had drawn the Dark Penalty there? I would have laughed. That would have been kind of funny. Yeah. So there's a Crobat. I don't know if you have a scoop up here. To, there's a Briny's, but you already played two supporters. I see a computer search as well. So you don't have game this turn. No. But you are certainly putting me in a sticky situation. And not that I already wasn't, but... So I retreat and pass? Yeah. I need to end you and knock out the Claydol. It needs to be end Gust of Wind. Yeah. <laughs> Those are two very bad Acrobat cards. <laughs> Uh, they do not help you at all, no. No. So... You already played your goop, yeah. So it has to be end gust of wind, I think. Yeah. It's the only combo that I have, and I don't have the Porygon, too. Like, I can attempt to get it out. Like, I wouldn't... It wouldn't be wrong to necessarily do that, right? Like. No, I, I think so. Oh, you're just shuffling back in. Okay. Might be the... There's a computer search, so that's at least part of it. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't need. So it looks like I decided to. I think you just change what you stretchered for. Yeah. I was I was making sure there was another Porygon in there. So I still haven't played a supporter yet, but. Okay, so you pal pad the N and something else I didn't see in. Yeah. I uh, pal pad a N and Sycamore or Juniper. Okay. Then, Still unplayed supporter here. No. Realizing that I could have gotten it by rescue stretcher Bebe's for Porygon 2. Yeah. And then computer searching for the end. I think that's where I messed up. Well, no, you don't have BTS in play. Uh, remember, I had it off the Acrobike, though. BTS was one of those? Yep. Oh, shit. Sure. So, yeah, I could have done that. I think that's where I said I screwed up, because I could have had it there. Yeah. But, but I also just could still hit it, too. Like, I, I yeah. oaked. And looks like I have an item finder, so like, so I'll be able to hit the lapras for the end. Like, that's not the problem. I think I'm just trying to figure out what else I can do. That's Porygon, or download Porygon, and uh, not download, but the other one, yeah. So rescue stretcher for lapras for the rockets admin. You just try to hit the gust off this, I guess. Yeah, if I had energy in my hand, I could have retreated and double gusted there. Yeah. So the energy removal being relevant. Maybe you should have just done that anyway. I don't know. 
okay. too much waffle oogsie. We dig it. We dig it. I think I remember. It, did I? I think I hit it actually, if I recall correctly. No, it looks like I missed it. Never mind. <laughs> the one card. <laughs> apparently, I left it over there. So apparently, it's pretty good. Shit. Yeah, energy, cosmic power. And maybe I shouldn't have benched all that other stuff down there, right? The clay doll, or the Baltoy and stuff. Yeah. I mean, you just have to assume that I miss everything at this point. Right. But versus Seeker for teammates. Yeah, see, you're reading the Rule of Evil one. But there's a Lysander also. The thing is, I can't actually, like, get it with a Field Blower because then I don't do 90 damage. <laughs> well, no, but it's the thing is you, do, you use Muscle Band. It's 90 base. Yeah. Okay. So there's Stretcher Lysander off the teammates. So just a slash for nothing. Okay, yeah. Cool. So, anyways, that's game one, guys. We're going to move on to game two here. Uh, any notes on that game at all? Uh, I mean, no. I think I could have gotten the Porygon 2 and end you there. There's like a few things, but when you said, like, you played it really wrong, I don't think you played it really wrong. Right. I just feel bad. I, I think th I, I think, like, maybe we can argue that you approached that matchup in a different way, but, like, I think your way of doing it was, like, a valid try. I don't know. True. Alrighty, we're going to move on to game two. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.